This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are in front of the house and behind me here you see the Hongxi HS9. Wait, H E H S9. Yes. So it's the Chinese Rolls Royce. And in this video, we're gonna drive it down to zero. <laughs> this is 99 kilowatt hour battery. Do I dare to do this? What happened last time I tried to run uh, a Chinese car with big battery? Um, Neo ES8. Oh, okay. So, um, yes, uh, let me show you by the way. You want an ABC, always bring cell, solar cell. Just in case. I even thought about bringing the electric scooter, but that would be too easy, I guess. So here, in the back, we have EcoFlow Delta Max. So it's two kilowatt hour battery. The reason why I chose this one with NMC battery, not LFP, is that, wait, did this one? Is that it's relatively easy to handle. 22 kilograms. And I present you the new toy, which is another Delta battery. Same, two kilowatt hour also, that means four total. But you see this one is lacking some input output. So it's just the battery. It's smaller, it's uh, lighter, six, uh, 17 kilograms. You connect them together, I'm gonna show that. So now we have four kilowatt hour, or I don't know how much we can get out of this. Let's say 3.7 kilowatt hour. Hopefully this will be enough. I charge both batteries to 100% right before we are about to leave now. <laughs> and then I have some uh, safety, safety equipment and all that. So the plan is to not run out at Ikea because we can't do it. It's too crowded over there. It's uh, uh, Wednesday at 10 in the morning. So uh, we have to go to the regular spot, which is at Cleavage. We have 24% battery, indicated 88 kilometers range. Okay, let's go for it. Let's. Um, well, I can reset there. Yeah, let's see now what happens once we run this beast out of juice. We're now on the motorway near Klofta. We're going to drive it low. It's down to 12% now, 34 kilometers. Shouldn't take too long because this car is so thirsty. 326 watt hour per kilometer. <laughs> well, it's a brick on wheels. No, 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 I take it back. It's Great Wall of China on wheels. <laughs> oh man, it tends to slow down in the curves here. Very annoying. Okay, anyway, um, yes, we need to drive a little bit further and then I need to bail out from this uh, motorway because it's not safe to run out. Well, I mean, it's, yeah, it's not too safe and not too convenient to run around. I mean, to run out around here. Okay, we are now at low juice. I got a warning and uh, yes, <laughs> this happens every time. Uh, when we have below 20 kilometers of range, it just shows dash, 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 but it still claims 6%. So, but this is kind of scary for most users because then they don't know exactly how much they have or can you drive it down to zero or is the car gonna stop you know uh, this is kind of scary but I mean, we still have okay power and all that so now we'll do the remaining driving uh, at the exit here so we'll take the smaller and less busy roads uh, one minus with this car is that it doesn't show you any power limit uh, i feel like we have reduced power but whoa, whoa, what the heck uh, but it doesn't show anywhere. This is it, we are at 0%. We're gonna reset the trip meter and then we count how much past zero we can go. So even at 0%, we still have HVAC with uh, AC going on. And uh, let me see, do we... Okay, still no indication of power limit, but uh, we still have plenty of power, seems like. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, 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 I can feel it, I can feel it. Wait, it's doing that neo crawl again. Look here, I floor it. I get seven kilowatt, five kilowatt. <gasps> okay, that's it, that's it. Um, let's find a safe place to sp stop. Avoid intense driving. Well, we are not going anywhere. I'm flooring it. Oh shit, oh shit. Hazard lights on, stop. That's it. Okay, at least it's a slight downhill now from the place we stopped. And uh, it says, watch out, surround. Watch out, surround. <laughs> I can at least put the car in reverse and we are just rolling down here. I will roll it closer to the middle. It's kind of weird we are backing up now, but yeah, just uh, to get into a safe spot. Well, the interesting part is that uh, even though we have no power for propulsion, the AC is still running. I guess the Chinese people, they get their priorities, right? <laughs> 
Okay, and as always, I wanna try to put the EcoFlow in the shade so it's nice and cool. And then I prepared one triangle. We have to do, uh, have a nice uh, thumbnail as usual. <laughs> okay, let me uh, get ready. Okay, what do I do now? What? Holy macaroni, look how big this car is. Okay, I have to fake a phone call again. Hello, I'm stranded here. Yes, well, how, what? No, 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 no Chinese. You speak English? Do you speak English? Do you understand the words coming out of my mouth? She, he doesn't know English. <sighs> Man, these Chinese people. All right, there's the warning triangle. I mean, not that it's needed because, <laughs> I mean, traffic coming this direction, they kind of see this uh, Great Wall of China in the middle of the road here, kind of. <laughs> Wait, look at this. Even the hazard lights are awesome on this car. You know, I like this shit, man. I don't know about you, but the more I look at the Hongqi, the more I like it. It just looks badass. I'm gonna show in the back, by the way. See here? Huh? Animated lights, eh? E-tron, go home. All right, maybe I'll just separate them for now. And then here, we have a little lid. We open this one, there's a cable. And you use this cable to connect the battery with the main unit. This battery only contains the battery. Here we have the inverter and everything, and the inputs, outputs. This one, the only link from the battery to the main unit is this cable here. Let's connect them and fire them up. Okay, open charge port, wait. All right, butt plug out. Let's go. Okay, this, wow, this is interesting. You see, we are outputting 1.8 kilowatt. Huh. That's what the car accepts, even though the charge uh, plug would be able to take more. Um, but um, see, interesting here, uh, what does it say here? Input 800 watts and output uh, 1.8. So it's actually pulling 800 watts from the slave battery. You can see here, this one outputs actually a little bit more. So there's um, some losses here. Oh, now, now the fan goes, okay. So this is pretty cool because we're then pulling slightly less load from the main battery because we are, we are getting some from the slave. So this should also mean that the temperature will be lower. So we're gonna check also the temperature in the app. And you can see on the charging cable here that, huh, it's only pulling seven amp. This is so different from each car. Wow, this is gonna take a while. So on the car screen, you can see that we are pulling, well, it rounds up to two kilowatt, but it's not, it's around 1.7, 1.8. And driving range, okay, uh, still none. Add zero kilometer. Okay, this will be interesting. Eventually, we'll see kilometers added here. Hmm, well, oh, huh, we'll see if it counts or not. I said that the solar panel also. I mean, we might as well. We purchased this one. It's so expensive that so we should get the kilowatt hour worth of it. <laughs> so I hooked up to the EcoFlow. And uh, let me see now what it looks like. Okay, 24 degrees Celsius. That's not too bad. All right, all right. Uh, but interesting, uh, when we are discharging the battery, it acts as one logical unit. Uh, but when I'm charging, I can show you later, then there'll be another entry further down here where you can see the slave battery and the master battery. But wait, how huh? input is still 800. Oh, oh solar 110 watt. Ah. And then, ah, okay, cool. And then extra battery is then pulling less power. Ah, okay, that's how it works. Well, I gotta say, this is one of the best cars to be stranded in. I can just sit in the back here in the executive, no, I mean the dictator's chair, and then recline. Oh man, let me just go a little bit more forward. You see? Huh? And then I brought some brings. Ugh. You see, we have a charge for 15 minutes now, pushed in around 400 watt hour, maybe slightly less into the battery, but the car still reports zero kilometers added. Hmm, I guess we have to go, uh, I don't know, we have to add 20 kilometers before it ticks up. <laughs>
Oh, we added two kilometers now. Now we're cooking. Oh, shit. It's half an hour past noon now, so we have a better angle on the sun now. And you see that we are now receiving 140 watts from solar. Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. And then it seems like input from the second battery has increased slightly. It seems like it tries to balance it now. 65% state of charge on the main unit and 79% on the... Well, actually, it's not that well balanced. I wonder what is going to happen towards the end. But look here, so 27 degrees Celsius. That, this is wonderful, man. Normally, it would be way above 35 degrees by now. So, you know, way lower C rating will definitely make the temperature not rise that much. We've been charging here almost two hours. I think around half an hour should have been enough, but whatever, I was just doing my work anyway. So you see we're down to, what is that? 5% on the main battery now, 30 degrees Celsius. And I noticed that you can actually click here to see the extra battery. So extra battery is kind of slacking with still 24%. I still wonder why it's unbalanced because in the beginning they were balanced at 100%, both of them. Wait, 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 click, click, okay, yeah. So, but okay, uh, I kind of need to go to the restroom. It might be a Type 3C. Uh, okay, let me just uh, get ready to leave now. Uh, we can always discharge it to zero some other day, right? Or, yeah. All right, let's see. We have 2% left. We'll put on uh, HVAC. What, what, yeah, why not? And off we go. <laughs> let's turn around. Well, we're on the move. Let me see. How much power do you have? Oh, plenty. Oh, this is luxury. Well, I mean, after charging for two hours, you should have plenty of juice. But at least we, uh, we unbricked the car. Oh, all right. All is good. Let's get over to the fast charger. We're now at the main charger. So this is piece of cake. Let me show you. This car is supposed to take 140 kilowatt, or at least I've seen 135 briefly, but for some reason, we're only taking 100 kilowatts. Yeah, we're already at 23%. I have to go to the restroom. But all good. So what should I say about the Hongxi then? Um, it's not the best car to run out of juice, mainly because it doesn't tell you exactly how much power you have left. So you're kind of just in the blind and then suddenly, boom, you're out. But at least you should know that with this car, zero basically means zero. Don't try to run anything beyond zero. And then as for unbreaking it, okay, I don't know about that one. Uh, unfortunately, I should maybe do it like a standard procedure to just charge it, let's say five minutes, and then see if I can drive. And then charge it some more, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I'm changing the procedure as we go. But okay, so there you have it, but we're not done yet. I'm gonna show you vehicle to load feature, but over here it's too noisy. Let's get over Actually, let's just go home. Then I can show the vehicle to load over there. All right, so we're home now. So see, this is the Shuku cable that came with the car. Well, actually, you know, on hindsight, maybe I should have used this one because this one is actually rated for 10 amp. Maybe that was a mistake, but I usually use the other Shuku cable so I can see all the stats. But uh, see, this one has this weird adapter thing here. And then this is the end that goes into the car's charge port. But here, you see, we have vehicle to load. So, uh, yes, let's uh, test it now. Let's see, we just open the charge port. And then well, this one is just a butt plug for it. I guess, yeah. And then you're supposed to just plug it in. Wait, how long does it take? There, there, there. Okay, so it turns purple and that means it's now live. We can just here. Okay, so the eco flow was quite deep. It was at 1%. It's now ramping up. Uh -huh. wait, wait, wait. I set it to 2 kilowatt max. I'm not sure why it's not charging at 2 kilowatt. Okay, uh, slowly ramp up maybe. But interesting. So the extra battery is at 16%. It's like, eh, yeah, why not? Uh, so this one uh, takes no input, which is good, I guess. I guess you'll wait until this one reaches 16% uh, before the other one gets any input. Yeah, now we start getting some decent power here. So 1.7 kilowatts. Hmm, let me see what it looks like inside the car then. 
Well, interesting, already at 4% here, it starts sending over to the other battery. So it's pulling uh, two kilowatt from the plug and then it sends 550 watts into this one. Huh, okay, I would personally uh, try to charge up this one a little bit faster, but I guess maybe chemically or uh, battery wise, no big deal as long as we are started charging now. Man, it's so noisy around here in my neighborhood. Oh, I need to get over to Yesheim. Ah, <laughs> and you see the screen here, it looks like this now. So we have 22% and then the lowest one is 20%. I guess it reserves it for driving. And now it's just reduced one kilometer. And we have some, uh, yeah, what looks like charging stats, but it's actually discharging stats. And here it says that we have five minutes left of AC discharging. Wow, this is really cool. It's a battery on wheels. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. Yes, now you guys seen it. The discharging and also the charging and the running of the juice of the Hongxi. So, I think that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.